Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality. In this video, we're going to go over the structure of our Cypress test pack that was created when we uh, scaffolded our tests in the last video. If you didn't see my last video for installing Cypress, I'll put a link on the onto the screen now and in the description so you can go back and watch that video um, to get to this state. So this is going to be a high level overview um, of what's been created and we'll have more videos in depth about each of these folders and the files as well. So starting off, inside the Cypress folder you have E2E which means end to end and this is going to be where your tests live. Now you can change this location but Cypress put this here for a reason and they kind of suggest that you should keep it under this folder. So if I just go into any of these folders inside E2E, all you're going to see is a bunch of tests. Now don't worry if this doesn't make sense because I'm going to be putting out a anatomy of a test uh, very soon so don't worry but this is just where all of your actual actionable test code is going to go. They've organized it into two different folders and then a bunch of files inside. But as you can see, all they are are tests. Next on here, we have fixtures. Now fixtures will represent a place for you to store your test data. You know, this could be mock data for your data for your APIs or anything. You got an example here, the example JSON, where you know it's giving you this JSON file and this is how you can access the data in your tests then. It's just a way to keep um, your data in a clean, orderly fashion. Um, I should mention if you're used to Playwright, fixtures in Cypress is completely different. So just be aware of that. Next then, we have the support folder. And we have two files in here. First of all, we have the e2e.js, which is end-to-end JS. And this is where you can kind of activate things before Cypress you know, calls upon a test. So it's something you can do before your tests happen. Now, there's examples in here where you might want to import your commands so you can use them in your tests um, and you can add on to this. So when you want to do something before your tests run, this is where you would do it. We then have the commands.js file. And this is a place where you can store your common and custom commands. Um, they have a bunch of examples here. So here we've got like add in a login command. Uh, you can expand this and you know you might want to use login throughout your tests. Then you can do it here and you can just call on this command. There's going to be future videos on commands and you're going to be using these all the time to make your code nice and dry and reusable. So you can add these custom commands, but you can also override them as well. And they've got an example down here of overriding a command um, where sci.visit is what will take you to a URL. And you can say, OK, I want to customize this a little bit um, to not use just the default behavior. And then every time you call the sci.visit command, and then it will do whatever you told it to do. And then last but not least, one thing we should touch on, it's going to be the next video that I publish, is the cypressconfig.js. So this file is really important as it's used to store any kind of configuration details specifically to Cypress. Like I said, there's going to be a video coming out for this, but I'm going to go into a bit more detail on it. However, in future videos, we're going to be, you know, changing and chopping this to make certain things work all the time. So just bear in mind, this is where kind of the global config will be set up. Behind the scenes, Cypress does have default values for certain things, so you're not going to see them in here. It's when you may want to override those default values is when you add extra ones. And, and that, that's basically it. There's, there's not much to it. They've kept it nice and simple. And like I say, in future video, we're really going to touch more into all of this. So as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.